Well, eBay and Taco Sacks merchandise is flying through the door. Gotta get it now before it's all gone. Even salsa agrees. Well, I guess we have to go to the scrapyard. We gotta make some money, salsa. Although eBay sales are going pretty well, we gotta make some space for more treasure. So let's get into it. All right, well, now we're at the back of the van. I still have to take out that radio looking thing. Um, this is the one motor I got in the trash. I actually thought I was going to take it all apart and then um, decided against it. So I'm going to just take it in as is. As you see, there's lots of copper in there. I don't have really the tools to cut all that. I know some people actually use a chop saw on these, but uh, my chop saw is not uh, fitted right now for scrap metal. And I really honestly, I don't feel safe enough using a chop saw and holding that. That just sounds so dangerous. I can't, can't imagine. But uh, our goal today, I don't know if we'll hit it, but I'm going to try to hit $100 at the scrapyard. So we'll see if we can get that. We'll start off right there with the motor. Got to go in the garage. It poured here last night. I mean, it. it's... There's water here. There's all, also water over by the lake, but since I got new stone in, the lake really hasn't formed. Um, but yeah, there's water everywhere. It is a sloppy mess out here. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to make a hundred bucks, uh, but most importantly, I'm going to try to do a little bit of cleaning up here. So this aluminum is going to go out the door. I think I'm going to take one bucket of wire. Maybe I'll do a little bit more cutting of this stuff. Like this has so much plastic on it. Or I'm going to just do a little bit of cutting. I also love using these for uh, scrap metal. You know, these are definitely for like pruning little small branches and twigs. I feel like the wire I have will never ever end, so it's might as well, although I can't spend all day doing this right this second, um, I might as well take at least, at least one bucket load over. I'm going to bring in brass because that's going to increase the value of what I bring in today. Uh, but somehow, some way, someone decide to use this like thread as an insulation. I must be really, really old before plumbers tape. That'd be my guess, but I'm not, uh, not a plumber. So I'm trying to rip it out. I'm not even going to bother with this. This one was looked all right, and then I started messing with it, and now it looks like this. So I guess I have no uh, no option but to keep going. Just really interesting. Someone would use thread as plumber's tape, but that might have been the way uh, things were done back then. I don't see any other reason why somebody would use this other than to seal two fittings together. What would probably be smarter is just sprinkle some lighter fluid on this and just burn this thread up. That'd probably be the easiest way to get this out without making such a mess. All right, I got it as best as I could. Yeah, that's about it. I don't think they're gonna complain too much. Still uh, pretty cold. Kind of feels warm just because I've been kind of working in the, uh, a lot, but um, this is what we're working with right now. And this is what we're probably going to be taking over. So I have wire over here. This is all clean aluminum. That's from that door I told you guys the styrofoam that was on the inside. This entire slot right there was styrofoam all the way around the door. So this was, I think, the left side or the right side. It's where the door handle would have been. Uh, it's got cut out. Um, but this, I think, was the bottom or the top. And... There's styrofoam straight down there. So that's all taken apart. I forgot to take it in, and then the holidays came around, and um, I just threw it into the garage to get rid of it, but I should have taken it in last week. 
Um, and then this is all brass. There's a lot of brass there. So I'm hoping that's probably about $40 or $50 worth of brass. That would really help out. I don't think I'm going to get more than like $2 for this. Um, but we're going to come close to $100. I'm kind of thinking like $75, maybe $85. But I really hope we can get to $100 at the scrapyard. Um, the brass, it, it weighs a lot of... Well, it weighs a lot, but... I don't come across it as much as uh, if I was like in the plumbing business. The only way I really come across it is if somebody throws away like a sink and I take off the brass fixtures or if I buy a box lots at an auction of plumbing supplies. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head off to the scrapyard. See if we can make a hundred bucks. I also want to see how this van sounds when I start it up. Because as you guys remember from yesterday's video, I did... I started it up and uh, it didn't sound great. I think that was because of the cold weather and it sat for about six days, but you never want your vehicle not to sound good when you start it up. All right, moment of truth. Yeah, it's... it's... I might need a new battery here shortly. It didn't sound the best, but uh, it fired up really quickly. Just didn't sound like how it usually sounds. All right. Well, heading to the scrapyard, obviously, and can't stop, uh, can't stop men from uh, doing trash picking. I have a car. I do have a car coming. Oh, let's let this now. You know, I'll just go across the street. Screw it. Hopefully, you'll see me. Guy's going a little quick there. Anyway, we got a shampooer here. That's a that's a beauty. Floor polisher, not a shampooer. My apology. Sorry if I offended a floor polisher collectors out there. Not up to date with my floor polishers. Yeah, we'll grab that. Why not, right? And just on cue, probably about, well, literally, yeah, that'd be the next house down the road. I got this. And that stuff, which, I don't know, it looks like a lot of fabric and stuff in there. Maybe that piece. Or these, though. Don't ask me how I'm going to fit this into the back of the van, but... I know I have space on the side, but these things are too long to go through the side door. That's wood. What are you gonna do, right? Find more stuff, you gotta stop. We have the big door open at the scrap yard. I always loved it. I don't know why, but it, it it makes me happy seeing the big door. But now I see the small door has those pieces of plastic on it, which if you go in there with a shopping cart, plastic like whips back at you, especially if you have something that's sticking out of your shopping cart and it just always smacks me in the face. And it, it kind of like, you know when it's cold and you get hit, like everything hurts just a little bit more and kind of just, it's just more aggravating. Well, that's exactly how it feels. 4,000 pairs of gloves here, which is not ideal. I want to go ahead and see if that, uh, that one piece was actually aluminum. I don't know if it was an antenna or an umbrella thing. Where the heck was that? Here it is. All right, 
Yeah, it's got a lot of other junk on it anyway. There's aluminum. Huh. Well, maybe I'll try to grab that out of there. If I put you guys down here, I probably can really get it easily. Go ahead, I need to get the scissors out and just cut this piece. So these aren't... This isn't wire, I don't think. Holy smokes. I don't know if that's... I'm trying to see. Oh, well, you'll probably see when I get over there, somebody's dropping off like 15 John Deere lawnmowers. It's got to be worth it for parts. I think you'll see it when I get over there. That's crazy. All right, back to me being the center of attention right here. This is, uh, this is what I have. So we'll see. I don't know. Like this right here is not going to be a hundred dollars, but maybe with the stuff inside there, it will be. I just really want to see these lawnmowers. I also made a mistake of not bringing uh, cash, like singles. So if I see something in there, it's going to be kind of hard to buy it. Yeah, I really need to clean these windows. What I really need to do, it's from the inside. Oh, I didn't reset the thing. So he switches over from green to red. He forgot to put it back to red. Should I say it goes red to green. He forgot to put it back to red. What's on green? So I just got to keep my eyes open because he flicks it really there he goes. He flicks it really quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a small engine repair guy. I'm pretty sure. How the heck am I going to do this? Very yeah. Why do he park like that? I guess I could somehow back in over there. Got a little bit of a flooding action over here. That's flooded. You guys know there's that huge divot, and I don't know where that divot is, so I'm not even going to walk in that. I'm not gonna tell I'm not gonna tell him what he should do but he should move up and then drop it that way you have more space to get all the stuff off the end Trying to be courteous, and when I'm throwing that, not make a huge splash and splash the guy next to me. Gotta think, think ahead sometimes. Now for the moment of truth, I don't think we're gonna get there. I think it'll be around like 80 bucks, but you never know. Maybe. Well, everyone, this is what I got. I fell short. I fell short of $11. I got $89 at the scrapyard. Um, the insulated wire, I don't know why, but I thought it weighed a lot more. It's one of those things, it's the bucket itself. It might even say on here. No, it doesn't say on here. Uh, you could probably do the math. Uh, maybe I can do the math here. Um, no, I'm not, this is just, I have to do a lot of math. But I think the bucket itself weighs like seven or eight pounds, so. You know, when you when you pick something up that weighs twenty or thirty pounds, it actually has a little bit of a weight to it. It's not a, it's not very light. It's not like a feather. Um, but yeah, I, I got thirteen dollars sixty cents for that. That one piece I just picked up out of the trash, sixty five cents. Not really a lot of money to be picking up something out of the trash for sixty five cents. But what are you gonna do, right? That motor yesterday, I think I said it was worth three bucks. It's only worth a dollar fifty. Um, just kind of fell short. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Um, but like I said, $89. I did have 45 bucks in brass. 
And so that was really nice. And the door itself, because that's all I brought for the sheet aluminum, that was $5.60. So I don't know if I'd ever take apart that door again. It took, took a little bit of time um, because there's lots of different bolts I had to, you know, untake or take out, different kind of screws, different kind of screw bits. And I think the biggest thing with doing this scrap thing is just the time it takes to get the right piece to take something apart. You know, the saw's all blade. If I have a wood bit on it or a wood blade rather than the metal blade because I'm using the saws all for wood things. Maybe I'll just buy a saws all just for metal things. Um, you know, all these different things, but then you add up all this extra money and it just like just take out the blade and just switch it out, you know? Um, but that stuff it takes time. You know, it does. And that's why I've always said is with like the hammers People think that by buying more hammers, you're going to be more efficient whenever you need a hammer. But in reality, it's not because you have to, you know, if you're finding a screwdriver, you have to dig through all the hammers to find the screwdriver. It's kind of weird how that is, but it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, 89 bucks at the scrapyard. I now have to head to the post office and see what else today has in store. It's, uh, it's getting kind of late. Spent most of the morning doing scrap things and uh, getting kind of late already. Sun goes down so quickly, it sucks. I wonder if I just used the leaf blower on all this water, would I be able to just like blow it into the drier areas and would it all just like go away? I might have to try that. Um, yes. I turned my money into um, Hershey's almonds, some Gatorade, some apples, and uh, some peppers. I just uh, couldn't get away from buying some peppers. Hopefully these taste as good as the ones that I grew in the garden, but I don't have high hopes. I guess fresh vegetables and fresh produce straight from the farm. This probably tastes a little bit better than from the store. At some point, I guess I got to uh, take out my decor. Maybe I'll just take this out and put it right outside the door. Eh, it's kind of windy. I think this guy's going to fall over here shortly, but oh, his eyes are busted. Guess I'll just take him out. There's no way this guy's gonna just survive. Oh, not a chance. But I think it's time that we start winterizing a little bit. Put those guys up. This, uh, mentioned that this building is kind of on its last straw. Super interesting. Can you believe that? That is all caused by a groundhog. Like a groundhog literally dug up all this shale and went down there. That is remarkable. And then all these walnuts. Really fun fact. Well, these walnuts are from all the walnut trees around here. But my random fun fact of the day is I used to sell these on, uh, on Etsy. Especially the ones that were, um, the ones that really sold very well. This one isn't. Maybe, here we go. It's almost cut perfectly in half. But I used to sell these on on Etsy. I think I sold, I think, 100 I like to say for like $18 or so. As you see, there's probably close to a couple hundred just right here. But it's difficult to find these. Uh, but my idea plan here is if I never build a new garage, I want to knock down this building and, uh, make an office in here, home office. I think that'll look really, really nice, but that's a plan for another day. This building is not salvageable given the foundation underneath here is all bowed out and you can maybe even see it's kind of like, uh, if you say this would be a nine degree angle, it's probably like a 70 degree angle. It's not the, uh, not the best. Not the best. My wheels are starting to form. But I think it's a good time to start pointing these guys up. Because it's going to start snowing here shortly. I don't know about uh, the rest of November, but it's best to get this in the ground while the, uh, the ground's still soft. If it's not soft, it's going to be a pain to get these stakes into the ground if it's frozen. I don't even know what the, uh, hey, that's frozen there. I ain't going in. There we go. 
I don't know what the uh, proper distance from the road is supposed to be. So I put it probably about, like, so the road actually, it's probably right there. So that's just grass that's grown into the road. Let's say if you dug down deep enough, you'd hit pavement right about there. I leave it probably about a foot. I think that's good enough. The plow generally leaves a decent amount of distance between the marker and the edge of where he plows. Just here would probably be a good spot. Oh wait, this is upside down. Duh. Random project to talk about. Alright, so this whole area is now cleaned up. I do still have some branches laying down. Go figure, I'll just throw it back into the bushes and probably by two years from now that'll just be dirt. It's going to wither away with the snow, the rain, the hot, the cold. Uh, but I did go ahead and cut all these um, sort of trees down, different sizes. You can see all the rings on this. Truly remarkable stuff. Now, a lot of people might think this is poisonous. It's actually not. This is staghorn sumac. And a lot of people, uh, probably I'd say in the United States, believe sumac is poisonous. And that's kind of the end of the story. But in fact, most sumac is not poisonous. Uh, this is also safe to the touch. Can't get a rash, can't get anything. You might get a little rash, but it's not like, it's not like poison ivy kind of poisonous. Um, I've been around it for quite some time, but uh, it does grow up and uh, I decided to cut it down. And the reason why is because while I park my van right here to unload into the, uh, into the barn and uh, the stuff scratches the side of my, uh, side of my van might be able to see it does grow pretty tall uh this was last cut probably about four years ago five years ago and i'd say it's about 20 feet tall now maybe 25 feet tall so in four or five years it grew 25 feet is that crazy that is not sumac that's a tree but this thing that thing that thing and that thing is all sumac but it scratches the van so yes that's going to conclude today's how the heck did that get water in it that smells wonderful also. That's going to conclude today's day. I have a handful of things I have to do for the rest of today, including editing, eBay stuff, but you might be able to see. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's a scratch right there. There's another one up here. You might be able to see it go across. It's kind of like a white scratch. You go to the back of the van, scratching over here. So yeah, uh, it was very important I got that down. Kind of on like, I would say one of the last warmer, nice days. I know I have a ton of stuff I have to get done with online sales, but I have to kind of, sometimes I have to prioritize and think that I'm not gonna have all the hours of the year to be able to do outdoor work. So rather than do the things that I kind of wanna do, I kind of have to just prioritize and do the things that I probably should do. Um, and yeah, missing out on maybe one day or two days of quarter four sales, but what are you going to do? You got to kind of do things around here to make things work in the future. So uh, no more scratches, hopefully, for the side of my van. But stay tuned for future videos. Stay tuned for future adventures. Hopefully, everyone had an awesome week last week. And uh, I know we're midweek this week, but it should be fun for the rest of the week. We'll see what happens. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Catch me guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.